Hey guys, this is your boy Marcus and welcome back to episode number 20 of Become a Legend, the series where I'm trying to become a legend. But anyway, anyway, into the first match of this episode and it's against first match, yeah, first match of the episode. Oh my, I'm, I'm not, not doing this. <laughs> um, it's against Stoke City and of course, I think I've changed my hairstyle. Yes, I have. I've got, gone with the short back and sides and I don't even have short back and sides in real life. I just decided to change my hairstyle because I was, a, I thought... I think my hair is a bit ridiculous. So in the last episode, we were an absolute substitute. It was absolutely ridiculous. But we start up. We actually start against Stoke. I'm the lap here on the ball passes it to, um, I think it's Gary Cameron or I don't know. I don't know Cameron. Passes it back. Cameron gets the ball here. Key actually does a good job. Get. I think it's Key or Dyer gets it. I'm just like, nah, I'm not having this. I just go for on goal. I just pop it into the back of the net with my fantastic shot accuracy. I do a nice. I did a nice uh, Spanish archer celebration, which didn't actually happen last episode because I didn't score that many goals. But in the last minutes of the match, I get last minutes of the first half match, I get a nice shot away, and unfortunately that that volley from I think it's Pablo Hernandez ends up going just over the bar. But at half time we've had five shots two on target. They've had two for one, and we're actually actually dominating them so much. But into the 58th minute here, they get the ball here, Kenwin Jones, and I just absolutely take him out. And I was like, no, no, not a red card. It was only a yellow, and I was like, thank the Lord. Because that was that was deserving of a red card. In the 68th minute here, I just pushed Cameron off the ball, get it for your own goal, and I was like, thank you very much. And with my, like, my boots add extra kicking power, so my shots got a little bit more powerful. So, of course, scoring our goal, it just, goes, it just flies past the keepers now. It's so much better. But in with that second goal, I was like, right, I'm going to go for a hat trick. So in the 76th minute, I'm through on goal and I'm like, oh, this is, this is easy. And I end up taking a nice shot and the keeper actually makes a really, really, really good save. And eventually, I think it's I think it's literally just after that, I get substitute for Ki Sung Young. And I was like, well, fair enough, I've done done my job and that's what I get paid for. But in the 87th minute here, Kevin Jones passes it to Nicholas Bentner, of all people, who actually scores against me. Hits it off both posts and it, it was in, but... 2-1 final score, it was a consolation goal for Stoke, we had 12 shots, 7 on target, and of course, I'm man of the match, so, as you can see from individual stats, I actually had 6 of the 7 shots, which actually on target, I had 9 of the 12, which is actually ridiculous for a team of Swansea, I mean, yeah, I know I play, but still, anyway, 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 anyway. Scotland versus Brazil was an international friendly, so Brazil, the hosts of the World Cup, even though they didn't host, uh, they for some reason don't host it in this game it's really weird that the world cup doesn't really get played in brazil stadiums it's really really weird you'll see it in a couple episodes when we're actually playing at it but i mean look at this game we're here and we're playing and it's against brazil and i'm like right play your good team what does he do he plays a ridiculous i don't remember what goal he plays but the goal is just like nah neymar just sighs like absolutely skins me and big Rubinho there, of all people, scores a diving header. And I was like, Rubinho? Really? But I mean, Scotland versus Brazil. If Brazil don't beat Scotland, then Brazil are crap. Because Scotland aren't anything special. So in the 29th minute here, Neymar on the ball. There's a little bit of really, really, really nice dribbling. And then he just pops in the back of the net. And I was like, fair enough. It is Neymar. And he's considered one of the brightest talents in football. So, fair enough. So, like, I've hardly had a touch of the ball in this game, like, really, like, I've touched it a bit once because I'm sure it's Thiago Silva, so um, Thiago Silva is marking me, so I'm not going to get any touch of the ball. So, we, Scotland have had two shots, one on target, Brazil have had three, three for three, and that was it, the, that was basically, we played absolutely dreadful, we deserved not to get anywhere in the game, like, I was, I played quite, quite poor, and I really deserved to be substituted, but, I mean, yeah, second half, we got an extra five shots four which were on target so it wasn't too bad they got a 6.5 rating Rubinho got a 7.5 and I mean I had five shots four on target of the seven shots which on five of which were on target so I did play really really well so we're in March now and it's coming to the end and coming up to the end of the season so I got suspended I never knew I got suspended I must go after that yellow card for uh, hacking Kenwin Jones must be giving me a suspension so I was like I'm not gonna fair enough but I, like, I wasn't gonna complain but then, um, actually, against uh, against Reading, we the team one two one. I actually go up another overall. If you just missed it there, it went from seventy one in the last episode to seventy two. So I'm slowly but surely I'm making my way up the rankings in terms of overall rating. So into the next match of the episode of this episode and the second final match. I think it's the second final match. I can't really tell. Um, it's against Tottenham and Tottenham very difficult side. Last time I actually got a red card against Tottenham, so I, of course I wasn't going to start the game. So. 
Um, Dortmund had five shots two on target at half time and three shots two on target from Swansea. But into the second half, I actually came on like literally at half time. And I here I get an, that's a really bad foul. That's a horrible foul by Asuicot. He just decides to stamp me. It's horrible. I mean, look at that. Look at those animations. But anyway, in the 51st minute here, I end up at, they actually. So unfortunate from the free kick, Pablo actually hits the post and then I try and like slide tackle it and it just doesn't want to go in. So I was like, fair enough, fair enough. But in the last minutes of the match, Bale's on the ball, T and Daly stops him and that's it. Final whistle, no, no. We had 10 shots, 6 on target and they had 8 for 3. So we did dominate but we didn't deserve to win. Both teams had a really good game and Drogba of all people actually plays for Tottenham, which was really surprising. I only had 4 shots, 3 on target but I did only play the second half to be fair. But um, as you can see, they were now 13th in the league. We've got 36 points, and I was like, eh, 13th, I'll take 13th, considering we were at bottom, we were right at the bottom of zero points after about four, mat four or five matches. So it's not too bad. We've turned our season around, and hopefully, we will continue our just good form into the second half of the season. So, into the last match of the episode, I, th I think it's the last match of the episode. Yeah, it is, because this is where Arsenal are. They're in form. So. We are against Arsenal and I was just like, meh, okay, I'll try my best, it is a team I want to play for eventually, but at the current moment, not really. But in the fourth minute there, I'm like, I test in Chesney, I'm getting, we're getting some good opportunities here. Mitra plays a great ball through to me, I really should score here. I just shoot straight at Chesney and I was like, oh god, these are all going to come back and pay. And they do, because Podolski here plays a ball through to Wilshire and Wilshire threw on goal and I was just like, ah. So Wilshire scores, and I was like, alright, right, fair enough, fair enough. In the 29th minute here, on the ball, Scalacci of all people cro passes it to Gibbs, who crosses it in, and Walcott gets a diving header in front of the goalie. What was the goalie doing? So 2-0 to, two -nil to um, Arsenal, and I don't know, that, that's a really weird celebration, it shows like me as if I'm something special when Walcott scored. I don't know what it is. But into the 45th minute, and Walcott on the ball, and I was like, come on ref, blow the whistle, and he does blow the whistle. So at half time, it's 2-0 to Arsenal, to Arsenal, and I was just like, hmm, this might make it a bit more difficult in the second half. I mean, they've had, they've actually dominated, they've, they've, they've had six, 8 shots, 6 on target. And in the 66th minute here, Podolski plays it through to Walcott, and Walcott throw on goal, just decides, you know, just casually just pass it into the back of the net. And I was like, god damn it. So Fia Walcott scores his second goal of the game to make it 3-0 to Arsenal, and... I was just like, God, like, after such a good form against Tottenham, we just collapsed. So in the 76th minute here, Routledge actually comes on for me, and I was like, what the hell? Like, really? So in the 90th minute, Podolski actually pops it into the back of the net for 4-0 to Arsenal against Swans. I mean, this is this is us at home, and we're playing terrible football. This is dreadful. So from the, from the stats, you see they had 10 shots, 8 on target. They did deserve to have score 4 goals. And Kieran Gibbs actually got man of the match. So yeah, that was the final match of this episode. That was the end of the episode. We had four shots. Oh, I had four shots, four on target, six passes, four made. Absolutely dreadful. So yeah, we're now 14th in the table. And yeah, if you have enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel for more. And catch you later.